Hey, good morning, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. And the Sunday vlog took yesterday off, um, but we are up and doing things and I figured I would start the vlog, at least get a day's worth of footage. Good morning. Good morning. What you doing? Coffee. Coffeeing? Yeah. What's this new contraption we got here? It's a mocha pot. It's a mocha pot. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. It's really good. Something new. Yep. Found something new. And then I actually just got done giving the doggo a bath. He's probably running around getting stinky again. Where is he? There he is. Did you get a good bath? Now you gotta get stinky again? Whoa, hey bud. Found that buddy. I'm really surprised he hasn't gotten the after bath zoomies. I know. Are you enjoying the sunshine though on your nice uh, clean coat? Yeah, we had company last night. Amanda and Chris came over. Actually, I should just be like, can you, can y'all guess who we hung out with last night? <laughs> yeah, Amanda and Chris came over. I think Chris is our only like beer drinking friend, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But um, they actually were on a mission. She is obsessed with crawfish. Okay, guys, like absolutely obsessed. Like for Valentine's Day, he took her out for crawfish. Like that's what she wants. She doesn't want flowers or chocolate or teddy bears or any of that romantic stuff. She wants crawfish. That's what we got it for, for Valentine's. So anyways, they were on like, essentially a crawfish crawl. Yeah. <laughs> they they went there? to two places and then she texted and was like, what are y'all doing? And we weren't doing anything. So um, they were like, well, do you want to have crawfish? And so I told her about a place by our house called uh, Scary Canary. It's a little hole in the wall bar that's like really known for crawfish over here. So they came over here and we had crawfish. Um, over there and while we were hanging out I like mentioned Cards Against Humanity and they'd never played before I was like close our tab we're going home <laughs> so they came over and played uh, Cards Against Humanity with us last night and um, Amanda was wearing black leggings and Milo was like rubbing all over her and he left like a trail of dog hair and dirt I was like okay way to like Show the people that I need to bathe my dog, Milo. Appreciate it. Well, my battery died in the middle of that conversation. I'm not sure where it stopped, but anyways, they came over and played Cards Against Humanity. Um, had a fun night. That game is just awful and hilarious. It smells so good. All right, here it is. Oh my gosh. That's so good. That's amazing. <laughs> now that's something that I'm, I would, I'm not gonna give you a hard time about this. Cause. This all fits perfectly on the camp stove. Yes, that's an amazing cup of coffee. So, so far today, John put together his um, little cart, garden cart thing for the garage where he's going to put all of, you know, like our shovels and everything like that. And I vacuumed the rug. I also vacuumed the treads. I don't know if I showed y'all these. Um, I installed these little like tread pads on our stairs because Milo, he like, you know, he's got bad legs or hip or whatever. And he's always like sliding. So I put that for him. And now we are about to work in the yard again. First, we're gonna set up our new tent. And then, um, hold on, let me turn off the radio. 
I'm gonna pause it for a sec. We're gonna set up our new tent just so we can like see how it goes and everything. And then we need to trim all this stuff over here because uh, it's all dead and it actually isn't even supposed to be on our fence. It's on our neighbor's side and we don't like it being on our fence. So we're gonna take care of that. And he's fertilizing the yard. And we might move back into the front yard if we get everything done here and we're still in the mood to work. Holy crap, guys, this tent is huge. <laughs> so this area right here is basically like, you could have like a screened in little room. So like if you're camping and there's lots of mosquitoes, you can come in here and these all open. Oh, he's doing right there. That all opens up and you have this partition so you can have like your bedroom over here and have like a living room over here. This is the Coleman Eight Person Institute. Eight Person Institute. We'll yeah, we'll leave a link, an Amazon link down below. Which, oh yeah, by the way, um, oh yeah, I need to do this. the gloves. The gloves and stuff. Yeah. What do you think, Milo? You want to be a camper dog? He smells so good from his bath. I can like smell him. I don't remember what the last little clip was that I checked in with y'all, but um, we moved to the front and I cleaned out the gutters while Jonathan fertilized, put fertilizer, like seed stuff. What is it called? Anyways, he did that <laughs> and then watered the yard and we started working on organizing this space. Um, recently we worked on that side um, and now we're starting to like work on this side it looks really cluttered and awful, but it's really not that bad. <laughs> um, but there's like a bunch of stuff right here that's been taken care of. And now Jonathan is gonna go back out to the backyard. He's gonna fertilize the grass in the backyard and then water the grass in the backyard. And I think we're gonna do a fire. That's the plan um, originally, but we'll see if it's still the plan now. Well, we decided against a fire mostly just because John's worn out. I'm pretty tired too. We've done a lot today. Um, we originally didn't even intend to do as much as we did. It's kind of like we were gonna do a bunch and then we were like, no, we don't want to. And then once we started, we were just like on a roll. And so he ended up fertilizing everything in the backyard, watering the backyard, and then um, he's done. So while he was doing that, I started dinner. I've got um, jal the jalapeno popper cauliflower casserole in the oven i'm fixing to cook up this ham steak and that's going to be dinner um he is relaxing over there on the couch and yeah that's that's what's currently happening i feel like it was a pretty good sunday i want to show y'all y'all see the redness on my arm that's how ridiculously stupid and sensitive my skin is when i was helping him take down the bushes on the side did i show y'all that huh. i'll show you pictures if i didn't show you already Um, it like touched my arm and that's what happens. My eczema gets all pissed off. Lame. Dummy. Dinner was delicious. Pitch Perfect, of course, was a great movie. <laughs> uh, we're upstairs now. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog. We're gonna split this delicious blueberry. Can you focus on it? There we go. Blueberry ding dong and go ahead and call it a night. So subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.